Welcome back. It is 638 and melanoma is the deadliest type of skin cancer, but it's also one of the most preventable. Yeah, today is Melanoma Monday and doctors remind people that besides covering and protecting your skin, one of the most important things people can do is catch it early. Yeah, WMAR2 News is Mark Roper is here now to explain what signs doctors say we can look for. Mark. Yeah, good morning, Megan and Randall. We talked with a doctor at GBMC who says many people have skin lesions, but not all of them are going to be cancerous. But there are five things to keep in mind if you see something on your skin that causes concern. Skin cancer does not discriminate. It can affect people of all ages, no matter the color of their skin. While doctors say people with lighter skin tones are more likely to get melanoma, people with darker skin tones are not immune. So there are five things that everyone should be on the lookout for when examining their skin. And it's easy to remember as A, B, C, D, E. A is for asymmetry. Is the lesion oddly shaped? B is for border. Does the lesion have a jagged border? C is for color. Does the lesion have shades of different colors? D is for diameter. Is the diameter larger than a pencil eraser? And E is for evolving. Has it changed in size or shape over time? GBMC Department of Family Medicine Chair Dr. Kevin Ferentz says, if you have something on your skin that hasn't changed in many years, it's unlikely that it's melanoma. However, about 8,000 Americans die of melanoma every year. But if doctors do find you have skin cancer, Dr. Ferentz says it doesn't have to be a death sentence. There used to not be much effective treatment other than the removal of the lesion. There are now very sophisticated chemotherapeutic agents that are being used by oncologists that actually can make people, even with advanced melanoma, either cured or live a whole lot longer than they did before. The, the key to melanoma is prevention. Now, Dr. Farron says getting one or two sunburns as a kid can dramatically increase your chances of getting melanoma. The keys to prevention are wearing protective clothing and sunscreen to avoid getting a sunburn. But if you see something concerning on your skin, best thing to do is to get it checked out. Megan, Randall. All right, all right. Mark, very good tips for us. Thank you very much for that. And you know, like Mark said, all it takes for melanoma to start developing is just a sunburn or getting a tan. Everyone thinks nope. a tan's fine to get, but right. that's nope. not a good thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that's something to definitely look out for. And Stevie, how quickly do sun rays kind of damage our skin? So there's a lot that goes into it, but basically the sun is by far the strongest source of UV radiation that we have in our environment. So the sun emits visible light, heat, and also ultraviolet radiation when it passes through Earth's atmosphere. UV rays from the sun are located in the invisible light spectrum. So sunlight produces three main types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC. As the sunlight passes through the Earth's ozone layer, all of the UVC rays and some UVB rays are absorbed by the ozone layer. But there are two types of UV rays that we come in contact with, and those are UVA and also some UVB. The ozone only absorbs a certain amount of harmful radiation, so that's why it's so important to use that sunscreen. There are many factors that determine how much UV radiation you are exposed to, like the time of year, time of day, geography, and also weather conditions play a very major role. The UV index forecasts the amount of UV radiation reaching the area at noon, that's when the sun is at its highest point in the sky, at a, a, a number, a higher number the UV number is, the more intense the UV rays will be. Some long-lasting impacts include wrinkles, discoloration, and even cancer. So this is why wearing sunscreen with a high sun protection factor is so important. So you don't want to use anything less than SPF 30. All right. Wow. I feel like I know more about this than I've ever known. A little so science thank for you. you. Yeah, a little science for Stevie. Thank you for that, Stevie. Yeah, the more you know. Absolutely. Well, the Kentucky.